today. Um, we need to do something. And we need to do it now. So true or false, uh, every child in the world born of the earth deserves an equal share of what the earth has to offer. True. Um, no quotation, just right out of your mouth, true? True. Every child deserves an equal share. Yes, sir. Regardless of yes. what, when, where, why. Regardless of class, wealth. All of that. Yes, sir. Pretty big animal lover, and I think all animals, like especially in the ocean, play a certain role in the environment. And to lose everything like that would just kind of—it's a loss of beauty too. Like animals, I find they're absolutely beautiful. And if you lost ocean life, then it would—it's a real like kind of reality check. The catastrophe. Just, yeah. Honestly, I wasn't that surprised. It's happening a little bit faster than I thought it was. Yeah. There's a pretty big supply of food as well to Indians, who are mostly vegetarians who live off fish. Yeah. So now on top of the weather crisis and the water crisis, there'll be a food crisis as well. Um, as you may or may not know, this year India has seen record high heat. It's, I believe in Rajasthan it reached 51.7 degrees Celsius. It's so hot the roads are melting. So when, uh, obviously there's a huge temperature factor as well. How are people going to walk hours a day on roads that are burning their feet if they, they literally will die of heat before they even get to water. So not only is there a water problem that's upcoming, but there's also a heat and weather problem that can't be controlled at all. If you have two pots and you fill them up with water and you put a frog in one of them, cold water, and then you turn on the heat and you just let it sit there while the pot warms up, it'll just stay there mm -hmm. and it won't jump up and eventually it'll die. But if you have another pot, and you heat it up to boiling, and then you put a frog in there, it'll jump out. Mm -hmm. Showers are something people take for granted. Mm -hmm. And so when I went to India, I remember my father telling me for the first time, you have to wake up on time because water only comes on twice a day where we lived. So what would happen is, I'd wake up, and then I'd go take a shower, and if I missed it, there'd be big reservoirs of water saved, and it wouldn't be the best water, and I'd have to dump it on myself to take a shower. So every day, I wouldn't wake up on time because I was a little kid, and I'd wait, remember my dad knocking through a bang, 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 wake up, the water's gonna turn off in like five minutes. Then I'd have to go, rush, take a shower. And then the water would come on 10 hours later, and I'd have to take another shower. Or else I'd have to get the water from the buckets, 